वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स आई आलोक कुमार मिश्रा आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ चार्ज फॉर क्लास टेन इन विच सम पार्ट ऑफ द चार्ज हैज बीन डिस्कस्ड इन प्रीवियस क्लासेज After that, there are some other properties which are to be discussed in this class. Okay, students, uh, you have been taught about in previous classes. Uh, charge is of two kinds. You are just looking here. A uh, positive charge and negative charge. This is the most fundamental. property of charge and as we know that what are conserved in nature as we uh, know that matter is conserved energy is conserved linear momentum is conserved similarly charge is fundamental property of matter which also remains conserved in nature then we can say that the total charge of a body always remains conserved same always conserved and it means the charge obeys the law of conservation of charge so how it is conserved charge is always conserved it is equal to the sum of total charge of an isolated object students sum of charge means if a body consists of positive charges proton lights and negative charges then the total charge i have just drawn a body which consists of many charges positive charges and negative charges so total charge of body is equal to the sum of all charges present in that body so charge is also additive in nature if we can sum the total charge we can find the total charge of that given body okay so charge is additive in nature charge is conserved uh, i have discussed that so total charge is equal to sum of gain of charge plus sum of loss of charge but the total charge of that body always remains same okay so how can we say again charge is neither created nor destroyed charge is only transferred charge is only transferred this shows that law of conservation of charge so charge is always conserved sum of charges always remains conserved and the point number 2 it's very important if there are charges either positive or negative or similar in nature identical in nature then there is a force always uh exerting between both interacting between both so how the force is calculated it was given by coulomb's law which will be discussed in class 12 but i have just given the some formula of that so like charges if two similar charges are present at some distance then there is a repulsive force between that and if there are two unlike charges placed at a small distance then one charge attract to other and then other also attract to that charge towards itself so there is a electrostatic force either repulsive or attractive 
between two given charges the force of repulsion and attraction depends upon the nature of charge supposing there are two charges which are present at a and b i will not mention which is the positive or negative but the magnitude of charges then the force acting between these two charges is directly proportional is directly proportional to the product of magnitude of charges and inversely proportional inversely proportional okay between the a uh, distance between the a square of the distance uh, so we concluding just like force is directly proportional to the product of magnitude of charge h and inversely proportional to the a square if the distance between two charges is r a square of the distance between both okay so if you remove the shine of proportionality you have to keep remove and keep the value 1 by 4 pi epsilon a type of constant whose value is 9 into 10 to the power 9 newton meter square per coulomb square this is the unit of that constant and that was derived by coulomb's coulomb's law of charge in electrostatic so there is a force acting between these two charges charge and if there is a charge and in rest then it exerts some force it exerts some force only electrostatic force a charge has only electrostatic force but if charge is in motion if charge moves in motion moves from one place to another then together with electrostatic force as well as magnetic force are interacting are exerting and that so a charge is motion has both electric force and magnetic force supposing there is a positive charge like that here positive charge so what will be the nature of the direction of the force on that so direction of the force is radially outward radially outward dekhi we can see here radially outward so field lines will be outward radially outward field lines so field lines radially outward outwards radially but if there is a negative charge if there is a negative charge i have just drawn here ha huh, i have drawn here okay and try to look this if there is a negative charge then what will it produce some uh, electric charge exerting field lines towards itself so towards its self i have drawn this a uh, line and it is directed inward directed in inward okay so this is the field lines inward this is the field lines outward so i have given a uh, tabular form the q is equal to n n as you know number 1 2 3 charge is quantized this formula is very important uh, which uh, is to be exercised in practice we will discuss we will solve the numerical slide based on this and supposing if current flows through a conductor for 30 second then what will be the total charge total charge is the product of flow of current flow of current and time taken to flow the current okay and here the q is equal to n if we write in a side form a side unit system so one coulomb one coulomb is equal to 
वन एम्पियर इंटू वन सेकेंड समाइम्स दिस क्वेश्चन इज आस्ट जनरली वॉट इज द डिफिनीशन ऑफ वन कुलम वॉट इज डिफिनीशन ऑफ वन कुलम अनदर सो चार्ज इज क्वानाइज दिस फॉर्मूला इज बेस्ड ऑन क्वानाइजेशन ऑफ चार्ज हाउ द चार्ज कैन इट इज साइड्स ऑन ए बॉडी इफ द देर इज ए रट चार्ज विल रिसाइड लिनियरली सो लिनियर चार्ज डेंसिटी उस पर चार्ज जो है लिनियरली रिसाइड्स करेंगे लिनियरली रिसाइड सपोजिंग देर इज ए लेंथ प्लस 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 चार्ज क्यू एंड लेंथ इज ए देन टोटल चार्ज बाय ए दैट इज लिनियर चार्ज डेंसिटी लिनियर चार्ज डेन सिटी लिनियर चार्ज डेंसिटी सिमिलरली सिमिलरली सर्विस चार्ज डेंसिटी चार्ज प्रेजेंट चार्ज इक्टे चार्ज प्रोड्यूस पर यूनिट एरिया पर यूनिट एरिया एंड हॉल ऑफ चार्ज डेंसिटी चार्ज इज इक्वल टू टोटल चार्ज ऑफ द बॉडी आई एम डिवाइडेड बाई द वॉल्यूम ऑफ दैट चार्ज सो दिस आर दी दीज आर दी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द चार्ज स्टूडेंट्स आई होप दैट दिस इंफॉर्मेटिव पार्ट रिगार्डिंग द फिजिक्स इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू एंड प्लेज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन आवर daily life in solving the problem thank you thank you